New event, Dark Hero. Oh, okay, what's going on here? It's a place where anything can happen at any time. A place where countless dreams are shattered. We call this place, The Surface. Cree! Is this it? I'm sorry, I couldn't protect you. That's enough. Huh? However, even in this desolate and despairing place, there exists a glimmer of hope. That's enough of that talk. This isn't over yet. I it's you! You're the... The Nikkei troop have been surrounded by raptures. In their moan of desperation, a female figure appears before them. And her name is... What? Black Ark Ranger. <laughs> wow, she actually looks really cool. The Black Ark Ranger. Let the mission begin. You perform your duties admir admir uh, admirably. Leave the rest to me and take a break. Long live the Ark Rangers. Boom. The Black Ark Ranger carves her way through the battlefield with unstoppable power and single-handedly fends off the Raptors' offensive from all directions. Cree! Bang, bang. Aw, oh, shooting them up. The surrounding Raptors fall one by one under her mighty attacks. Boom. Enemy down. By the time everything is over, the sun has long set. Wow, that was a long-ass battle. Is it night? I wonder who this is. She looks like she could be hot. How beautiful. Surrounded by piles of shattered rapture debris, the Black Ark Ranger looks up at the sky, her dignified posture giving her the true air of a hero. Ha, ah, there's no need for such grand proclamations. I merely completed the mission which I was assigned to. More importantly, is everyone all right? Yes, everyone's safe thanks to you. Good, can you stand? Glancing at the array of devastated raptures before her, the Nikki lowers her head. Are you s scared? A sea of white stars embroiders the s night sky. Beneath the open sky, she starts to speak. Whenever my courage wavers, I look up at the sky. Every time I glance at such infinity, I realize that the surface, enigmatic and perilous as it may be, is also full of unfathomable beauty. There is another reason why I've been able to overcome my fear and keep fighting, and it's standing right next to me. The Black Ark Ranger reaches out her hand to the mass-produced Nikkei. So don't despair and stand up. Lift up your head and look up at the sky and see what you're fighting for. What we are fighting for. If you do that, you can overcome any fears you have. Troni, we're here. Huh? Troni? Where is that sound coming from? I'm Arc Ranger Black. What is with this hand? Can I hold it? <laughs> the leg is like, huh? Oh! Huh? Did I do something wrong? It's just me, Tr or Troni. No need to be surprised. A, a leg? If you do that, you can overcome any fears you have. As the Black Ark Ranger movie plays in the background, the stirring tableau of the valiant figure fighting on the surface slowly recedes. Revealing Troni alone in her room, with a figurine in one hand and the other grasped by a leg, as she recites lines from the film. Ah, what a nerd! And... Alec, can we come in now? Um, if now isn't a good time... Ah, it's a whole collection of nerds! Exia and Maiden awkwardly glance at Troni and Alec. She's like, what the f***? How long have you all been watching me? Not, not long. Let's see. How did those lines go again? The Black Ark Ranger... Let the mission begin. Tony's like, what the? F oh no. You performed your duties admirably. Oh, uh, leave the rest to me and take a break. Yeah, that was earlier. S stop. Long live the Ark Rangers. She's dead. She's dead. She's gonna write an obituary right now. That's a pretty cool movie. You should invite me next time you watch it. A leg, close the door for a moment. Huh? 
Last will and testament revision 429. I knew it. Here lies Troni, a Nikkei affiliated with the Electric Shock Squad, along with fellow Nikkei Elect, Exia, and Maiden. Troni? It all it will all end quickly and painlessly. <laughs> Look at her eyes! <laughs> She's the Lulu. Uh I better get going. I just remembered that I had something to do. I feel like these two like uh, could basically be sisters, given how they both act. Don't worry, this will all be over quickly. Troni, what's that you're holding? Is is that a welder? You shouldn't have come so close holding that, you know. He <laughs> he She's crazy. She's going crazy. Troni. <laughs> You're starting to freak me out, Troni. For a while, screams can be heard from Troni's room. Oh no, she went crazy! Here with the Geek Nikkei girls. Um, the story's called Dark Hero. Let's get into it. Uh, enter here. How? Oh my... <laughs> It's so blatant! I mean, come on! Alright, let's... You know, how, how much feet is gonna be involved in this freaking event? I received a strange message from Exia this morning. Wake up, noob. The time has come. Exia exhorts me to come over to Troni's room for a co-op mission. The situation seems urgent, so I rush over. Okay, and we have the girls just standing here quietly. Alec, Exia, and Maiden each have their faces buried in a tablet. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm here! Not now, noob. We're raiding. Black Rose, a little help? You're the only one in our party. You're the only one in our party who can deal any damage right now. You're our last hope. You got it, leave it to me. I, Black Rose, will not let you down, psycho pomp. That's a spirit. <laughs> Just smile. All right, boom guy. When I tell you, all you gotta do is use your special move. Then there's gonna be one heck of an explosion. Kaboom! The three of them are completely immersed in the game and aren't registering a single word I say. I don't have much to do, so I go to have a seat nearby and watch. Perhaps I'm just imagining things, but I could swear that something like this had happened before. Phase one, clear. Hooray! Phew. Phew. Now I see why no one has defeated this boss yet. We're we're only in this first phase, and it's already lobbing all these insta-kill attacks at us. We did it, guys! The game that they were playing, Final Quest Online, recently got an update with a DLC featuring new raid boss. It appears they're all gathered in an attempt to take it down. Elysian, Macillus, and Tetra, all working together in harmony. <laughs> Games are indeed a wonderful thing. Commander? When did you get here? I've been here for a while. Oh, okay. Anyway, you should get ready. Ready for what? You gotta join you gotta you gotta join our raid party! Aren't the three of you enough? No way! I'm a tank and Exia and Eleg are both DPS. Oh, that makes me a healer. With a combination like that, we'll never make it past the third phase. If we want to clear the final stage, we'll need a dependable healer like you. Oh yeah, I guess I've always been assigned as a healer in this world of gaming. So that's why you called me. If we don't have a healer in our party, we can only go so far. With a big smile on her face. Come to think of it, where's Troni? Why isn't she joining you guys? Oh, Troni. Do you see that over there? I like points to one side of the room. Underneath the desk of which various Black Ark Ranger merchandise is displayed, there's a large lump wrapped in a blanket. Hmm. Did something happen? Uh, she's been like that ever since we saw her imitating the Black Ark Ranger. <laughs> hey! Choni's urgent voice sounds from under the blanket. You said you would keep that a secret! Oh, whoops. A leg would totally blab. Pretend you didn't hear any of that, Commander. Uh, 
I hate you. I don't see why you're so upset. I thought your impression of the Black Ark Ranger is really cool. Nothing weird about it at all. The blanket rustles as if Troni is kicking her legs. A leg. You don't mind. What? Leave Troni to me. Ah. Oh, she's sweating. I approach Troni, leaving the puzzled Aleg behind. Lifting the blanket ever so slightly, I'm greeted by Troni's beet red face. <laughs> Aww. Commander! All I did was recite a few lines back from the movie. I wasn't impersonating her or anything. It wasn't. Whenever my courage wavers, I look up to the sky. You mean those lines? What? How did you know? Oh, look, she has sparkles in her eyes. Did I just impress her because I know the line? Any commander worth their salt ought to know the Ark Ranger's most famous lines. Oh, uh, all right. We, we're, she's, she's back. She's back. Those are from the Dark Hero episode, right? Aren't they being re-released as a movie? That's right. I've been dying to see it ever since I heard the news. I snagged the DVD as soon as we finished filming our interview. What interview? After we resolved that whole issue with the power adage in the arc, we've had a deluge of requests from media outlets wanting to interview us. Some of them even got directly in touch with the central government. Wow, they're very determined. You're telling me. So anyway, Suyin said I had to participate. I tried to bow out, but she kept pestering me until I went. Did the filming at least go well? Well, about that. Man, you should... They make her look so depressed most of the time. Question... Oh, flashback. Question one. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm a leg from the Electric Shock Squad. And to my left is... Uh, I'm... Electronic Shock Squad... No, that's not it. Electroni Squad Shock. Oh, what's my name again? <laughs> Troni. A bit short for our self introduction. Troni? You okay? Electric Shock Squad's Electrini Sock Electric. And she's gonna be like this for a while, so you'll probably have to do some editing on your end. Uh, why is she even there? I feel like Alec could have said everything for her. Are we free to say whatever we want at this time as well? Okay, thanks. Did you hear that, Troni? Alec, huh? Even if you make a mistake, they'll edit around it. So you don't have to be nervous. You're free to say whatever comes to mind. Okay, uh, I'll try. We're all able to speak freely here, so go ahead. Huh? Good grief, can't this bucket of bolts even spit out her own name? Dang, she's so mean. Or is she gonna blurt out nonsense all day? <laughs> Choni hastily unconscious herself back in the blanket. As I'm looking around hastily to find something to change the subject, I notice the calendar next to a clump of mud. Ew. With a date circled. Troni, why did you circle this date here? Hmm? Oh, that's... Tony looks back and forth between the lump and mud and the calendar for a while, then speaks up. Commander? Are you free tomorrow by any chance? Oh boy, what is it this time? Why? I mean, if you don't have any spare time, it's okay. Okay, fine. I'm more than willing to give you my time, Troni. <laughs> Sparkle died again. Y you are? But why? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to answer that question. Why are you asking me all this? That's a relief. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, she has a cute smile. Without explaining any further, Troni heads over to the others who are waiting for her to join the game. She seems to be in higher spirits now, so that should be a good thing. Right? Let's hold us in size. That should be everyone. I'll be making raid announcements in here, so keep your eyes peeled. Let's photosynthesize. What's with the group name? Last time when Exia and Troni created a group chat, 
our attempt at photosynthesis didn't go so well. So I thought using this name for the group chat would give us some extra motivation to give it another try. Huh? Is that why? Then count me out. Me too. Yeah, I'm not into it either. Huh? Oh, come on, guys! Don't you think you're overreacting just a tad? Leg, is there a window near you? Yeah, why? Is there sunlight coming in? Yeah? There you go. That's enough for your precious photosynthesis. Yeah, what she said. I knew there's a reason you're the leader, Exia. Mr. Commander, what do you have to say about all this? I wish the best of leg. What? A few hours later. Cycle Pomp. There's an insta-kill attack coming up, so watch out. Cycle Pomp. You got to get this timing right to dodge properly. Okay, that's just her chatting. If you're having a hard time, just stick behind Black Rose. You got that, T. Roni? Got it. And stop typing out your skills in the chat. Sorry. Wait. I figured she would be good at video games. Maybe it's because she's playing with her feet. Don't worry. I did the same thing when I was new. Just follow me and you'll be all right. Okay, thanks. Maiden drops her tablet. Maiden? Is everything all right? Can you say that again, Trony? Thanks? Tears start to flow from Maiden's eyes? I'm so happy that I decided to play this game. What? Just by being told thanks? Uh, what's going on? Is she like so used to being toxic or being around toxic players? Black Rose, help! Black Rose! Black Rose! Huh? Black Rose isn't moving. The game isn't important right now. What do you mean? It's not important. Trony thanked me. I'm so touched. What? I barely said anything. Can I hug you? <laughs> you already are. Oh, sorry. My arms move without me realizing it. <laughs> that must be super awkward for her. Emergency! The tanker is gone! Woohoo! Oh, woo oh, wow. We did it! We finally did it! Huh? Exia, do you see that? Oh my gosh! It's... It's boom! It's really boom! Huh? When the new map should be generated, a logo of boom is instead running. Did she mod it? So that's why the damage meter has been acting so funny. I should have known LA couldn't help herself. She's gone and installed Boom inside Final Quest. Hee <laughs> hee, so Final Quest can run Boom. And this is truly a god tier game. Yeah. Maiden, can you put a stop to this, please? I'll try. Boom, 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 boom. Everyone, if you could please concentrate. Man, in comparison, even I'm a better, like, teammate when I play with Exia. We've been raiding for a better part of the day. It's only natural we're starting to lose focus. Hey, just like real raiding. Man, they sure know their stuff. How about we call it a day? I suppose you're right. There's no sense in continuing things like as they are. It's almost like the people who made this game are gamers themselves. Hmm. Fine, we'll take on the last phase another time. I'm sorry, I could have done more. Please, Trony, no apologies necessary. You've only just started playing the game. I'd hardly expect you to be an expert right off the bat. Maiden? Yes? Could you stop touching her? You're making her uncomfortable. Sorry, but honestly, my hands have a mind of their own. Ooh. That's no excuse, Maiden! That's not gonna hold up in the court of law! <laughs> Maiden still has one arm wrapped around Troni's shoulders. Troni has her eyes closed, but it is otherwise bearing it with, a, with good grace. It seems like it may be difficult to get Maiden to stop this. Anyway, that's enough final quest for today. Good job, everyone. You too, Exia. So, that's it then? Excuse me? We're not done here. Now we gotta go play some Boom. Ah. She's right, Commander. We've just started, so if you could sit back down, that'd be great. I didn't know where I was be I was invited to a LAN party. Don't I get a say in what games we play? No one seems to have any intention of getting up from their seats. Okay. Man, being commander's rough. You gotta... You gotta be good in the field and in games. 
After Final Quest Online, we progress to a series of different games. This is so cute. I like this art. It's very cozy. It gives me a warm feeling to think that a group of Nikkeis who are, you know, outfitted to destroy killer robots on the surface are gathered in a, a very normal looking living room playing video games together. After Final Quest Online, we progress to a series of different games. Boom, Dragon Dungeon, Command, Combat Ace, and more from different genres. Currently, we are immersed in the fighting game, Iron Punch. Sounds like the bootleg version of Iron Fist. Maiden's like, huh? Dang it! Ugh! <laughs> you gotta do better than that, Maiden. I'm trying my best! There must be some kind of bug in this game. That would explain why a leg isn't losing any health. I think it's just because she's good at avoiding attacks. That's impossible! How about I try and play hands-free? Honestly though, I think I'd still win, hee <laughs> hee. Maiden. Aww. Hey, don't be mean to Maiden! No, you don't have to do that. Let's go again. It's time to get serious. If I can proffer one piece of advice, Maiden. Smashing the buttons blindly won't activate any of the special moves. I know that! Although it seems like some are enjoying the game more than others, the fact that all four of them are getting along brings a smile to my face. Hey, that's exactly what I said earlier! A few hours later. Like, how about going a little easier on her? I was thinking the same thing. No! Don't go easy on me! Oh, look at the sphere size! I knew you wouldn't want me to, so I haven't. I'm getting tired of this game, though. Do you want to swap, Choni? No! What? We're not done here. I want one more rematch. <laughs> You know, it, it's kind of it's kind of hot that she's saying it like that. She's so fierce and passionate about uh, the video game. You've been saying that for the last two hours. Last round for real this time, probably. Beep beep beep. Huh? Who's calling me? <gasps> it's the boss. Can I answer this? Go ahead. Excuse me for a moment. Mhm. Mm yes, boss. No, not playing games again. Yes. Sorry? Right now? Okay. I'll be right there. Maiden hangs up the phone. What's wrong? Uh... I think I've gotta go. I mean, it's getting kinda late. How about we turn in for the day? Yeah, I think that'd be good. Tony, kinda sad? You're leaving already? What? Damn, she wants to go all night. Uh, don't worry, we'll see you again soon. Of course. We still got one raid left for us to clear. Say it with me now, guys. Our fight is just beginning! Look at her. Our fight is just beginning! Just beginning! Just beginning. Aw, even Choni said it with enthusiasm. Just beginning. <gasps> Filled with anticipation for the day ahead, the gamers finally call it a day for now. All right, as the leader, I'm officially calling for a meeting. Yeah, everyone gather around here, here, here. Where's Troni? It says the message has been read. Here, there you are. So what was it you wanted to tell us, Exia? If you don't know, memorize this dot text. <laughs> This document includes summaries of the strategies for phases one to three. I want you all to commit it to memory before the next raid. Okay, I'll try to memorize it as much as possible. I have full faith in you, Maiden. Yeah, we know you can always count. We know we can always count on you. Thanks, guys. Hey, what about me? How did I do? You did fine. Just stop trying to install Boom all the time. Okay, I'll try. Erm. Erm. For a while, there are no further messages from anyone. Choni left the group. <gasps> a leg has invited Choni to the group. <laughs> Choni, what happened? Nobody was sending any messages, so I thought I was in the wrong group chat. Seriously? Anyways, were you going to say something before? Oh, right. I'll try my best. Spoken like a doe-eyed newbie. <laughs> 
It's enough to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So when's the next raid? How's everyone's schedule looking next week? I don't have anything going on. Me neither. I'm free as well. Shall we say this time next week then? Hey, we're planning a raid. Sounds like a plan. Right, I nearly forgot. Maiden, why did boss call you? Sorry, but I've got to go. Guillotine has just arrived. Please pray for me that nothing goes wrong. Hee <laughs> hee, it's probably nothing. See y'all next week. It's quiet now. Hmm. Was it always this quiet? Troni turns on the radio while scratching her head. On the radio, an interview with the leg and Troni is playing. You recently resolved the power outage in the arc. Is that, isn't that real? That's right. Troni's a specialist when it comes to both electricity and electronics. Thanks to her, not only were we able to solve the power outage, but we did it with a boom. <laughs> Do you really think I'm a specialist? <laughs> is it the last we've seen of these power outages? We believe so. As long as the converter we invented isn't playing, any outages should be a thing of the past. However, power may temporarily be down whenever we have to inspect the converter. So if there comes a time when the power goes out, don't panic. Stay calm, hang tight until we finish examining the converter, and everything will be fine. Tronies are quiet. This incident highlights once again that you two have played a huge part behind the scenes in ensuring the arc runs smoothly. Some citizens have even taken to hailing you two as silent heroes. Tronies like, huh? Is there anything you would like to say to the admi admirers out there? How about your? F how about you first, Tronie? Tony begins to have terrifying flashbacks of the traumatic event and quickly turns off the radio. Beep. A deafening noise rings out in her mind. Inside the crimson colored room, dozens of eyes are trained on Troni. Her, their gaze is penetrating and merciless, as if they're asking, are you actually a hero? A hero. Hero. Troni? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm just a little tired, that's all. Well... You've been pushing yourself awfully hard recently. What with filming all these promos and interviews? And that's on top of all the power source research you've been doing. Speaking of which, you've been going to the lab pretty much every day, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Hmm... Here, I want you to have this. A leg hands Troni a music ticket, a movie ticket. Wait, is this? It is a ticket to the premiere of Black Ark Ranger movie. Tomorrow is your first day off in ages. Why don't you go treat yourself to a movie? Why don't you go with her? I was planning on just taking a short break in the morning before going to the lab. No, no, you should take advantage of your time off and get some proper R&R. &R. But then you'll be here on your own. I'll get in a nice boom session while you're not here. Hehehe. <laughs> Is that all you ever? Th anyway, I'll be taking it easy myself tomorrow, so don't worry about your don't worry your pretty little head. Oh? By the way, you said you finished that report I was asking about, right? Yeah, I'll bring it to you later. Thanks. I'll give it a once over tomorrow. Alright. She sounds like a like a manager or a supervisor. Just don't work too hard. Tony begrudgingly accepts the movie ticket. Huh? I'll come there too. I knew you'd turn around halfway to the theater and make some excuse about it being crowded or something silly. So please get the commander to tag along and make sure you actually turn up. Oh, we're getting turned. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go. Oh, she's willing to go with me? He <laughs> have a good time then. Thank you for thinking of me. Oh, that sounded so sincere. Hold on, did you just say the commander is coming with me? <laughs> there you go. That's that's what I was expecting. Oh no, she's in shock. Slump. And like catches Tony as she limply falls from her chair. Hey, are you okay? Sorry, I just imagined asking the commander to see a movie together and got a bit lightheaded. <laughs> I mean, given the kind of person, or sorry, the kind of Nikkei that she is, uh, I would expect her to have that kind of social anxiety. Could you ask him for me by any chance? Okay, fine, I'll do it. 
Commander. Commander. Commander! Yes? Do you want to catch a movie tomorrow? I got two tickets to the Black Ark Ranger movie premiere. Sure. Great, but I got a question. What is it? Why are you using Troni's account, Aleg? <gasps> ah, boom! Can't get past me. Huh? How did you- There are no messages for a while. Sorry, Aleg snatched my away my phone. Troni wanted me to help her ask. If you wanted to catch a movie, I see. Troni sure doesn't waste time getting what she wants. Huh? You do realize this isn't a group chat, right? <laughs> oh, this is so... <laughs> oh my gosh. Did she leave again? Actually, you invited her back. <laughs> so you're free tomorrow, Mr. Commander? Sure. Where do you want to meet? Troni. Uh, is the square okay? Okay. Happy face. Oh, happy face from Troni. That means a lot. Such honesty. I like it. <laughs> that was so good. The next day, at the Electric Shock Squad's laboratory, a leg is staring at the heading of the report. Special Entity Material H. I might just be able to glean some clues from this. Guess I should just dive in. After taking a deep breath, a leg begins to read the report. As she turns the pages, her expression gradually darkens. Hmm, what's going on here? By the time she reaches the last page, her voice is trembling as she reads aloud. Evaluation of the Peculiar Entity Material Age by Mana. Material Age possesses a structure and form that is strikingly similar to that of the Ark, and appears to have been created by raptures. In fact, one could even venture to deem it a miniature version of the Ark. Material H generates energy by assimilating Nikkei's, which is remarkably similar to how first generation raptures reinforce their power sources by assimilating organic matter. In conclusion, it is increasingly clear that, the other f that other forces besides us know about the true nature of how this power source functions. Oh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out about that power source in the past event that traumatized Troni. Bah, this is no good. We already knew there had to be others who knew about all this, besides Troni and I. So why am I so shaken up about this? I can't. A leg tightly grips the table in an effort to steady her trembling hands. After taking a few deep breaths, her shaking finally ceases. Phew. I can't afford to be frightened like this. I got too much to do. That's right. Oh, Ether. I can't I can't get a read on this girl. I can't tell if she's good or bad or like true neutral. She's kinda chaotic for me. There is much to be done. Ether? Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time I've shown up unannounced. You're not feeling uneasy about anything, are you? Oh me? Uneasy? Nah, no way. <laughs> Your acting skills leave me leave much to be desired. I'm just messing with you. I merely came to check on the progress of the latest task MMR assigned us. So relax, or else I might misinterpret it as you being suspicious of me. Okay. So when did you think the equipment will be ready? It should be able it should be able to be delivered next week. We'll let you know as soon as it's finished. That's a relief. What's that supposed to mean? I'm merely suggesting that you're doing a commendable job with the task I assigned to you. Of course, you shouldn't expect anything less from us. Good, so long as you can keep it up in the future. Come again? The top brass are keeping an eye on you, you know. They're paying close attention to as to whether the Electric Shock Squad is doing well. Is that so? It's a little overwhelming if I'm being honest. You know how Troni and I hate being in the spotlight. That hardly sounds like the words of a pair of heroes. At any rate, your primary goal is to ensure that the Ark remains operational. I trust you'll do everything in your power to make that happen. I don't like how she sounds right now. She sounds way too corporal for me. I'm suspicious of her. I feel like she's the type to sell you out. Or to... to, to 
to betray you for her own ambitions or whatever. You know as well as I do that there's nothing the higher-ups aren't willing to do for the sake of the Ark's survival. I know it all too well. Good. Well then, keep up the good work. I hope that report is making for good reading. After Ether leaves, a leg wearily sits down. What have we got ourselves into, Trony? Oh, she's hanging out with her buddy, Guillotine. Meanwhile, in one of the Ark's back alleys. Is everything okay, my friend? Just say the word and I can take over. I wonder what kind of call she got. I... I don't understand. Fine, I'll go over it again. We've received orders from a senior official in the central government. There are individuals inside the Ark that are planning a terrorist attack as we speak. A directive has been issued for the extrinsic squad to secure those targets and have them and hand them over to MMR affiliated central government forces as soon as possible. Hmm. I have a proposition. How about I handle this mission solo? I see no reason for Maiden to join. I can see this job through myself. Boss. Are we sure the electric shock is the one behind this conspiracy? We were positive. And Leg and Troni are your next targets. What? Is this gonna be a sad story? Oh my god. This was supposed to be a cozy gamer girl arc, whatever. You sit here and hang tight. I'll take care of this. Be right back. No. I'm taking charge of this operation. I need to. You shouldn't punish yourself unduly. Guillotine. Please. Very well. However, if anything happens, I will intervene. That is the one thing I cannot and will not compromise on. Alright. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So Guillotine is like be considerate of her, but she's also she sounds like she will get the job done no matter what. I don't like this! Man, they knew what they were doing. Tony and I have agreed to meet at the square. And so I'm on my way there. <laughs> I wonder, is she in this like the entire time? So that means that are we going to the movie with her sitting in this? Once I arrive, I can see Troni sitting on the bench, staring blankly at the billboard. Okay, so she is actually not in this. Which is relaying a broadcast featuring the Electric Shock Squad. Morning. Hey, Commander. You're becoming quite a celebrity with all these TV appearances. Yeah. I hope nobody recognizes me. Just in case, though, I've been practicing my autograph. Hey, that's so... That's so adorable. I hope she has someone who actually wants an autograph. Troni and I watched the broadcast for a while. Hmm? For some reason, there doesn't appear to be any footage of Troni. It may be a while yet until Troni is being harangued for autographs. How come they're only showing footage of a leg? Did she want to appear? I thought she was like... Oh, I hope it doesn't hurt her feelings. Uh, 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 didn't you want to go see the movie today? Why don't we head there to the theater? Oh, sure. Before we go, though, could you help me with something? What is it? Do you remember before when you asked me why I'd circled that date on the calendar? Uh, sure. That's the day I first joined the Electric Shock Squad. It was also the first time I ever met LA. LA has been doing so much for me all these years, and so I wanted to give her something for once. I was trying to think of what to get her as a present, but then I realized I've never actually given a gift to anyone before. Oh, Oh, she's... She, she's thoughtful. She's awkward but thoughtful. So I was hoping I could get some suggestions from you. I'd be happy to help. Do you have any general ideas of what to get her? Besides boom merchandise? A leg is all about boom, so I was thinking maybe something related to that. Oh. 
a boom guy plushie maybe? Would that be weird? I think she'd love that. <laughs> How about we head to the shopping center and check out the gaming store? The shopping center? Oh boy, let me take a few deep breaths. Uh oh. I mean, what what can we expect? Could, could you give me a few days to prepare mentally? <laughs> uh, let's go. I dragged the reluctant Trony with me to the shopping center. Oh, okay. I just took her with me at the gaming store. Trony is cowering in a corner, hiding from all the other people. Trony, you'll never be able to choose a gift if you stay huddled in the corner. But, hello, is there something you're looking for? Ah! Oh, she's even more shocked. No, I remember it all. That traumatic interview, the panic being bombarded with questions, the humiliation of not being able to string words together and being sent to the orphanage. Oh, shit. Um, is everything all right, miss? Just pretend you didn't hear that. Did you, do you happen to have any boom related products? Sorry, but a leg recently cleaned us out. So we're all out of stock. Ah, I see. Thank you anyway. Sure thing, if you need anything else, let me know. The store clerk leaves to help the other customers. What should we do now? Hmm. A leg is an avid gamer, so how about we get her some gaming peripherals? I don't know. She's already got everything you could possibly need thanks to all the devices our squads have made. Right, I forgot you're both skilled inventors. <laughs> is there something else a leg likes besides boom? I'm not sure. That's kind of pathetic when you think about it. <laughs> True. What do you mean? A leg understands me more than I understand myself, but I know next to nothing about her. Oh, okay. Hold on, what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's nearly time for the movie premiere. You're right, we'll figure out a gift after the movie. All right, time to drag me to the movie theater. Okay, soon after at the theater. Despite the fact that it's a grand premiere, there's a surprising lack of spectators. Even though I've seen all the episodes before, I'm still excited to see them in a new format. Shh, sorry. Even though the movie hasn't started, Trony has both hands tightly clasped together and her eyes glued to the screen. Soon after, the movie begins. Dark Hero. As the title sequence flashes across the screen, Trony's eyes sparkle. After that, random snippets of fight scenes featuring the Black Ark Ranger illuminates the big screen. Long live the Ark Rangers! Next to me and Trony, there is another moviegoer who can't be clearly made out. I merely completed the mission, which was assigned to me. All the help I gave you tonight will only be known by you, me, and the dark sky above us. Woohoo! <laughs> Trony's actually cheering. Ah, oh, what a hero. Each time the Black Ranger ut utters a famous line, both Trony and the mysterious moviegoer have the same enthusiastic reaction. After a while, the movie reaches its conclusion. The Black Ark Ranger is so incredible. Ah, I feel good for her. Both Trony and the moviegoer adjacent to us were engrossed to the very end. Absolutely. What an incredible experience, Black Ark Ranger. Even as the credits run, they're still not fully over it. I knew it. I knew she was a hottie. This movie is always a blast to take in. The Black Ark Ranger? Oh, she opened her eyes. Sick! Dozer, Choni, it's been a while. Huh? She knows us? What? Black Ark Ranger? That's me. Did you enjoy the movie? How do you know our names? You both came to my fan meet and greet at the ARC Gaming Expo. Oh yeah! Hey, callback! Sick! Commander? Yeah? I can officially die and rest in peace now! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you know what? I feel happy for her. <laughs> That's a high I'm chasing throughout all my life. If you would, please pass my last will and testament revision number 430 onto a leg. Oh, she must be an absolute <laughs> droop. <laughs> Look at her face. A dumbfounded Troni slumps on from her chair, and I manage to catch her before she hits the floor. You can't die yet. You still need to decide on a gift for a leg. All right. Troni, I heard you and a leg got the arc out of quite the pickle. Oh, that, that was, that, that's not nothing compared to what you do. All we did was repair a converter and restore the power. Nothing worth praising, really. If the Ark fell into darkness, the glimmer of hope amongst the citizens would likewise be snuffed out. You kept that hope alive. If that isn't worthy of being deemed a hero, then what is? I must express my heartfelt gratitude to you. I, I kept hope alive? No, I, I'm no hero, not like you. Everyone says I am, but I'm not an, a gallant figure they make me out to be. Tony averts her gaze as she ruthlessly puts herself down. You're not like me, you say. Tell me then, what kind of hero am I exactly? You saved people, and you've rescued the Ark from the brink of catastrophe countless times. Ha ha ha! Is that so? Do you have a moment? Well, I do need to pick out a gift for a leg. It won't take much too much of your time. I promise. We find ourselves walking around the Ark with the Black Ark Ranger performing various small acts of kindness, helping the elderly cross the street, playing with children. Oh, she's like just a hero. Thanks to these small displays of kindness, each area we visit is soon filled with laughter. That's enough for today, I think. We can end our patrol to here. Well done, you two. Do you usually patrol around like this? If I have time. The unfortunate thing is I typically don't have time to spare. You're pretty busy, so I can imagine. Too true. That's a, it's a pretty generic, but pretty sick design nonetheless. However, seeing everyone smile is the greatest reward I could ask for. It does make you feel good. Then let me ask you again, Troni. What kind of hero am I? Do I spend every waking moment saving people's lives and averting catastrophes? Or am I simply someone who, as we just saw, performs small acts of service? Troni, a hero is someone who fully embodies their beliefs, instead of living their life according to the ex expectations of others. Living by your own code and principles is what makes a true hero. You don't have to be exactly like me. You don't have to be this majestic figure that people envision you as. It's not important how other people see you. You need to define for yourself what justice means to you. You have to figure out for yourself what kind of hero you want to be and what, what principles you want to follow. What principles I want to follow. I know this all sounds very dramatic and lofty, but I'm just cribbing from a speech that Red gave me way back, which made me end up joining the Ark Rangers. Is this a squad? Are these like actors? Are these movies based on true stories? At the time, I thought I'd become a hero capable of empowering others like Red. Hehe, <laughs> I'm not used to talking this much. Anyways, I think I've made my point, so I'll say goodbye here. Oh, there is something I wanted to say. What's that? You're that kind of hero. You do empower others. Hmm. Uh, never mind, I don't really know what I'm saying. Thank you. Let's part ways here. Hopefully we'll have a chance to meet again in the future. With that, the Black Ark Ranger turns and leaves. Choni says goodbye for a long time as the figure of the Black Ark Ranger slowly fades into the distance. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, so happy. And something bad's about to happen to her. Suddenly, I remember something. Choni, about the gift. Huh? Even if it's not something you necessarily think a leg would want, as long as you put your heart into it, it'll be enough. It's the thought that counts. I see. I understand what you're saying. Sorry, but may I excuse myself? I've decided on what to get her. Of course! Let me know what she thinks of it. I will. Oh, and thank you for today. Damn. I wonder how it is for the commander to be able to juggle all these hangouts and dates with like 
all of these Nikkei. <laughs> As I watched Choni leave, the Black Ark Ranger's words echo in my mind. I think about that for a long time. Hmm, should I go back and give that movie another watch? That night, Choni's room. As she hums the Ark Ranger theme song, Choni is hard at work making a gift for a leg that she's bound to love. A custom boom theme gamepad, unlike anything that can be found in the Ark. That should do it. After inspecting the completed gamepad, Choni turns to look at the clay figure on her desk which a leg made for her. She fashioned it into the shape of the Black Ark Ranger in an effort to encourage Choni to come out of her room a while back. Oh yeah! Another callback! Choni treasures it more than anything, and as she looks at the precious figurine, she mumbles under her breath. I hope she likes it. Carrying the simple wish in her heart, Choni waits for her leg's return. However, she's waiting in vain, for on that very same day, a leg went missing. Ah! Oh. The Extrinsic Squad. They carry out the duties? Ah, I feel tricked. They, they, br they bring you in with this event with like this cool cover art of the four girls just gaming. It becomes a whole plot where they're framed for being terrorists in the arc. Oh, the extrinsic squad. A group of Nikkeis that was created to suppress or eliminate any Nikkeis who become irregulars. A squad whose very existence is shrouded in mystery. Due to all these cloak and daggered measures, Maiden has never felt a sense of belonging. Oh, that's sad. Hey, Maiden. Why'd you have us meet in such a creepy place? Are you getting back at me for yesterday? <laughs> I'm like, just smiling. Hey, you don't look so good. Did something bad happen? Yes. Something bad has happened. Maiden has always yearned for a sense of belonging, to find a place where she could make friends and embrace her true self. That's why. Maiden, you're now officially a part of the team. She accepted Exia's offer with such fervor. That's why. Maiden, was it? But nice to meet you. Don't just stand there, Choni. Say hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. She opens up to Aleg, Exia, and Troni. Aleg, meeting you has brought me so much joy. I hope you know that. But why? Maiden shakes her head in distress and pulls out her phone. Boss, it's Maiden. Requesting authorization to remove the mask. Yes, target has been secured. <gasps> yes, I'm carrying out the directive now. Maiden takes off her mask. <gasps> oh, she's so pretty too! Ah! Oh, ah, oh, this is pain! Maiden, are you crying? Oh, she's so wide-eyed under her hair. Is everything okay? Freeze. Just as a leg reaches out to wipe her tears from Maiden's face, she freezes mid-moment. A leg was gonna wipe her tears? Ah. For the first time in Maiden's life, someone saw her take her mask off and wasn't afraid. And how does she repay them? By using her powers against them. I hope that you would be scared of me like all the others. Target has been restrained. Transferring to designated coordinates now. <laughs> no, friendship! Aww. I hope th this has a nice conclusion. I hope this doesn't break up the girl squad. <laughs> They're just playing video games. Leave them alone. Tony fiddles her phone nervously. Despite waiting all night, there was still no sign of a leg. And unlike before, she can't be reached at all. This has never happened before. I hope I like doing okay. Just then, footsteps can be heard out in the hallway. There's a SWAT team coming in. A leg. Filled with anticipation, Troni bolts up from her seat. However, the person who comes through the doorway is not a leg. Sorry to disappoint you. I know you'd rather see a leg right now. Is she in on this? Instead, Ether enters the room, looking weary as always. I should have figured your dormitory would be just as much a pigsty as your lab. I can see now why Suyin is always moaning about cleanliness, or rather, the lack thereof. What are you doing here? 
I'm here to give you information. Information that I'm sure you're eager to know. Alex's whereabouts. <gasps> Caught your interest, have I? Do you know where Alex is? I do. Then tell me where she is! But it might be rather shocking to hear. Are you sure? What are you talking about? You know, Choni, that's the thing about confidential documents. They usually contain information that isn't meant to be seen by just anyone. And becoming privy to such information could put you in harm's way. One of the higher-ups noticed you two meddling with MMR's Material H report. And now they know that you and Aleg are aware of the truth behind the Ark's power source. Oh my gosh, they're going after them just because they know. I don't understand. That's why Aleg was apprehended. Orders came down yesterday from the central government to MMR. We've ca we're to capture both you and Aleg as you two are orchestrating a terrorist attack. <gasps> as Choni begins to step back, Ether raises both of her hands in the air. Oh, don't misunderstand me. I didn't come here to take you in. Quite the opposite, actually. I came here to give you a chance. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe Ether's not so bad. Ether approaches Choni with an equivocal smile. You have two options. The first is to say that Aleg is a sole individual responsible for planning the attack and that you didn't know anything about it. If you do that, I'll be sure to do whatever I can to clear your name. After that, it's quite simple. You forget everything you know about the power source and simply work hard to keep things going just as they are. Naturally, in order to maintain your image as a heroic figure, you won't be able to associate with Aleg ever again. If you want these charges against you to be lifted, that's a sacrifice you'll have to be willing to make. Okay, she's back to being chaotic. What's the other option? Here. Eat their hands. Eat their hands over a note. These are the coordinates where a leg is being held. They're scheduled to begin interrogating her later today. As soon as that's finished, she'll be dis What? The Evil! Oh my gosh! Oh my... That is... Oh! I can't believe they do this! Not a leg of all Nikkei to dispose of. They haven't even disposed of Crow. The second option is that you personally attempt to go and rescue a leg yourself, but you don't have much time. If you get caught, your memory will be wiped or you'll be disposed of as well. Of course, even if you do manage to rescue a leg, both of you will forever be fugitives on the run. There's not much time, Troni. Make your choice. Oh man, this choice stinks. Show me what you can do. Can you do that for me? Beep. Ah, this is where the commander comes in. I receive a message from Exia. Noob, we've got a problem. What is it? Eleg and Troni are, are supposed to come over for a raid an hour ago. But I can't reach either of them. Can you try? Okay, give me a second. I try to call Eleg, Troni, and Maiden. But none of them pick up. Now that I think about it, Choni never let me know how it went with her giving a like, her gift. Something isn't right. Something isn't right. No one answered their calls. What? What happened? What's going on here? I share Exia's worry that something nefarious might be going on. We should head over to Electric Shock's dormitory to investigate. When we arrive at the dormitory, all the doors are mysteriously wide open. Russell, I hear a sound from Troni's room. Troni? I cautiously head inside Troni's room. Inside, Ether is examining the Black Ark Ranger figurine. Ether, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Number seven. Ether puts down the figure she is holding and approaches me. Who did you come to see? Troni? A leg? Both? Answer my question. Let me give you a little piece of advice. Don't get yourself mixed up with those two. What happened to them? Look at the expression she has when she's saying this. So you don't know. Alright. Let me fill you in. A leg and Troni were planning a terrorist attack. As a result, the higher-ups at MMR have ordered us to arrest both Electric Shock members and have their memories wiped. 
What? More accurately, just one will have their memory wiped. The other will be disposed of as an example to the rest. The top brass wants to mitigate any and all potential risks within the Ark. There's no way either of those two are planning an attack. We seem to trust them quite a bit. Yes, it's just as you said. They had no part in any purported terrorist attack. Nope, their crime was of another nature. Would you like to know what it is they did? By now, Ether has come uncomfortably close and scrutinizing my expression with much intensity. Not interested. All I want to know is where they are. <sighs> You're no fun. Let me guess, you intend on saving them, is that it? Even for you, associating with these two can only end poorly. I walk past Ether towards the table where various Black Ark Ranger memorabilia is displayed. In the middle of the table is a customized boom gamepad. This must have been the gift Trony intended to give Eleg. I reach out for the gamepad. Trony wanted to give Eleg a gift, and I'm going to make sure that she gets it. I figured you would go that route. It's a good thing I prepared another copy. Ether tosses me a folded up note. That once open reveals a set of coordinates. Is this where... Yes, a leg is being held there. Tony rushed out not too long ago, intent on rescuing her. You should get a move on. What's your game here, Ether? Yeah, what are you what are you getting out of this? It's suspicious. I don't know. I think she does a lot that kind of confirms that she's a good guy ultimately, but her behavior is suspicious. Like, what's your play? Ether waves her hand nonchalantly, signaling that she doesn't intend on elaborating, and then heads outside. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Huh? Noob. Noob. If you're getting these, please respond. Exia? Ah, uh, you can't. You can hear me. Good. I overheard everything you and Ether just said. Let's get. Let's go get a leg and Troni. If you heard everything, then you should know that you shouldn't get involved in this. But you said all you're doing is helping deliver Troni's gift to a leg. Well, that's the same for me. I'm the party leader, so I gotta do my due diligence and round up my party members who didn't show up for the raid. That raid isn't going to clear itself, you know. I'll lead the way. All right, it's all yours. Operate Operator Exia is on the case. It's been a while since I've done one of these. True. After following Exia's directions, which lead me to a deserted alleyway, I see a few androids standing guard. New, you see that building at the end of the alleyway? That's where the coordinates are leading. These guards look like they mean business. Is there any way to enter the building without being noticed? If I may, I'd like to make a suggestion. We could use a cardboard box. That's a gamer suggestion. Having, haven't you ever played a stealth game before? If you hide inside the box and move whenever the guards aren't looking, you'll be able to sneak past unnoticed. There just so happens to be a discarded box nearby. I'll have to see if I even fit in the thing. I open the box wondering if I'll be able to squeeze into it. When I'm greeted by the sight of Troni inside. <gasps> Sorry, but could you please close the box? <gasps> Commander, what are you? Wow, I never thought anyone would actually try it. <laughs> Dexia. Dexia, we've come to help. You have? I give Troni the gamepad. What? What's going on? You still have a gift to give. Also, I don't want to hear anything about how it's dangerous for me to get mixed up in this. Noob and I already discussed it and we've come to an agreement. Troni, aren't you gonna take it? As Troni climbs out of the box, she takes the gamepad from me. Thank you, I'll be sure to give this to her. That's the spirit. Now, back to the topic at hand. I'm wondering if there's any way we can distract the guards. Exia, would hacking be possible by any chance? It sure would be. In fact, while you were deliberating whether or not to get in that box, I took it upon myself to do a bit of research. Once I hack into those surveillance androids, they should be offline for about 10 seconds, after which they'll recover. I hope you two have got your running shoes on. Are you ready, Choni? Ready! Alright. Hacking to the enemy system now? Done! It's game time. With Exia's help, we enter the building undetected and unscathed. Is Trony just on foot? I imagine. Like, she's not in their actual machine. I mean, she'd have to if she's trying to fit underneath the box. That's stage one cleared. Now, moving on to stage two. Ah, the gamer reference. 
The number one thing is to not get detected by any enemies. Yeah, the last thing we want is to get surrounded in a place like this. On top of that, the guards inside that building are humans. They're known for shooting first and asking questions later. Exercise extreme caution. We will. I've had to look at the security camera footage along with the building blueprints. This place seems to be a deserted MMR facility. I'll guide you to the points where a leg is most likely to be held. Um, before that, could you wait a moment? Choni holds up a gamepad. Left, right, A, B. There we go. After Choni presses a few buttons, Wong, all the all the lights in the building go out. Oh yeah, we're dealing with like geniuses here. What the? What kind of gamepad is that anyway? It's a function I incorporated in case I ever get too lazy to get up. <laughs> wow. That's very nifty. And turn off the lights while playing a game. Even on a small operator screen, Exia's excitement is palpable. She is nearly vibrating. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's, she's like, I want that shit now. That's gotta be the most impressive gamepad of all time. I was wrong for talking smack about Missilis before. What other functions does it have? It can install Boom on any nearby electronic devices. <laughs> it also pairs with them automatically. <gasps> so, could you tell us where to go? Oh, sorry, I got a bit carried away thinking about that gamepad. Alright, let's do this. Stage 2, we're coming for you. Okay, okay, things are moving along. Meanwhile, after a long and grueling interrogation, a leg is slumped in the corner of a room, exhausted and alone. Oh. She's usually very chipper and positive. I wonder if they're they're actually breaking her. What's going what's gonna to happen to me? Whatever this is, I hope this all ends with me. Mm. A leg, I'm coming in. Maiden cautiously enters. Maiden? I thought the interrogation was over. Or have you come to finish the job? For a leg to say that to Maiden, oh, oh, that sucks. This, that sucks. That must suck to hear for her. No, I just wanted to talk to you. Is that okay? You want to talk with me? If you're not up to it, I understand, but do as you please. Well, actually, I don't know what tone she says. She says, do as you please. It's a bit dirty, but if you look hard enough, there should be a spot where you can sit. It feels a bit strange to me to be playing host. <laughs> See, she's still being positive! Oh my gosh, her leg is so good! Oh, uh, Alright. Maiden crouches down next to a leg, and an awkward silence descends between them for a while. It is a leg who breaks the silence. Well, what did you want to talk about? Ah, yes, right. I heard what you said during the interrogation. How the plan attack on the Ark was all you're doing. That's right! I'm the heinous, I'm a heinous criminal. You have to be careful. Nothing good will come out of associating with me. Even Troni, who had nothing to do with any of this, was mistaken as a co-conspirator. She's looking out for Troni because she's been captured. So that means she hasn't had any contact with Troni. It was Ether that told Troni, hey, you should just deny everything and say you're not involved. But meanwhile, Aleg is in, is being detained and she already cooked up a plan that she's gonna accept all fault and leave Troni out of this. She is such a, oh, she's such a good character. Oh, she's such a good character and such a good friend. Aleg, it's just you and me right now. I asked the others to give us a few moments alone before it's all over. You can tell me the truth, please. If you're honest with me, I might be able to help somehow. I just told you, associating with me will only bring misfortune on yourself. Unless you want to be accused of being a terrorist too. Maiden's quiet. This is for the best. I can take responsibility for everything and exonerate Troni of all these trumped up charges. Surely there's a better way. There has to be. I don't know what's going on right now. But one thing I'm sure of is that you're no terrorist. It's not too late to come clean and explain that this has all been one colossal mix-up. Even if I did that, it wouldn't change anything. What are you talking about? For one thing, you wouldn't be sent to the scrapyard! Maiden's practically screaming, but a leg only closes her eyes. I'm sorry. 
I don't want you to get involved. What do you mean? Despite her best attempts, Maiden is unable to get through to Leg, and vice versa. Bang! Suddenly, there is an unmistakable sound of an explosion outside, which sounds oddly like an 8-bit. Leg knows what it is as soon as it reaches her ears. It's a sound effect from Boom. <laughs> Trony? Oh no! Leg's probably like super worried. Like she's probably be like, no Trony, don't! Oh, is it gonna work? Trony proceeds to use various functions to incorporate into the gamepad. Activating sprinkler system. This is the feature I added in case it gets hot while gaming. <laughs> uh huh. Disrupting all communications. In case Suyin tries to call us while we're in the middle of a good game. Nice! Remotely installing boom instantaneously. Bang! With this, with these different functions, Trony distracts the central government troops enough so that it, we can move through the facility unimpeded. Exia, can you get us through the store? Sure thing. Unfortunately, I'm skilled at picking locks. Exia unlocks multiple sealed doors and guides us to areas where there are no sentries present. Enter the right hallway and go up the stairs. Wow, it's cleaner in here than I thought it'd be. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Exia expertly fulfills her role as an operator, helping us locate the shortest and most effective route. With the aid of both Troni and Exia, all of us are able to safely reach our destination. Stage 2 cleared. All we have to do is pass through this hallway and we'll reach the room where a leg is being held. Let's get a move on. Roger. Just a second, Commander. What? Look over there. Troni is pointing at the opposite end of the darkened hallway. Maiden? Beta stands opposite us with her head bowed. How did you know? It appears the extrinsic squad is involved in this somehow as well. Are you here to rescue a leg too? You're all here for a leg? Maiden mutters to herself as she slowly lifts up her head. She is not wearing her mask. Trony, get back! Huh? Target secured. Deploying Kotodama as ordered. Maiden? Troni, due to Aleg's testimony, charges against you have been dropped. However, the order issued to me has not been rescinded yet. What are you saying? I'm warning you. If you come any closer, I'll have no choice but to arrest you. If you stop now, you can remain a hero. So please, don't come any closer. Let me handle this, Troni. I'll talk to her. I'm gonna... I have some pull. I've seen some previous conversations with Maiden. Shoni lowers her head. No, Commander. Running away won't change anything. Shoni takes a step towards one friend in order to save another. Maiden. When I was young, people often asked me about our dreams. Some of them say that they want to be doctors who save lives. Others proclaim they want to be a hero who saves the day. Like the Ark Rangers. As for me, my answer is always the same. I would answer while looking up towards the sky above me. My dream is to be able to look up at the sky. The other kids would laugh and make fun of me. What kind of stupid dream is that? Every time that happened, I would promise myself that someday I would see the real sky. Underneath the bright light of the sun, I would take in the vast world before me. Back then, I didn't know. I had no idea that the only light I would end up chasing would be the glow of a television screen hooked up to a gaming console. I want to see the world in all its majesty, but I ended up becoming petrified of it. I thought I would become the protagonist of the story, but I turned out to be barely a footnote. How could I have known? Mmm, Trony. Maiden's silent. But you know, a friend of mine always reached out to me saying, You are a shining star, and that is not and that it was not fitting for me to be cooped up in a dark room. No matter what I was afraid of right now. She told me, You can certainly overcome it with your strength. As Trony looked into Maiden's eyes, I see an entire landscape in Troni's own eyes, one unlike anything which I've ever seen before. Beep. In Troni's mind, a deafening roar can be heard, and the entire area becomes bathed in red. An endless sea of accusatory eyes stares at Troni, questioning if she's really a hero. 
after discovering the truth behind the Ark's power source, after feeling the stares of others boring a hole into her wherever she went, Troni now has the confidence to stand tall and declare with confidence. I'm not that kind of hero, and I don't want to be. If being a hero means I'm unable to help those who helped me when I needed it most, then I'd rather not be one at all. A true hero doesn't live according to the expectations of others, but act according to their own principles. Yeah, that's right. She's an arc ranger. Worthy of being an arc ranger. So Maiden, I'm asking you for a favor. Step aside and let us go to a leg. After hearing Troni's story, Maiden begins to tremble. I knew it from the very beginning. I knew there was no way either of you could have intended the Ark any harm. And yet, even though I was positive neither of you were irregulars, still, I... I... Tap. Troni slowly inches towards Maiden and gingerly places her hand on her shoulder. <gasps> Maiden's being touched! I'm sorry, I just can't stand seeing you cry. <laughs> Maiden mumbles something to Troni as she continues to pat her shoulder. A leg is inside there. She's trapped in there and she's trying to take all the blame. Go and help her. I will. Go then. She's waiting for you here. Thank you. Troni nods at Maiden before running towards the room at the end of the hallway. Maiden watches her for a while, then staggers over to us. I know I don't deserve any of your mercy, but... Is there any chance... It's okay, Maiden. I'll make sure you have a home to come back to. Oh, Oh, well, that's a sweet thing for me, the commander, to say. You're always welcome. Are you... Are you sure? Of course. If you didn't come back, XA would be super pissed. <laughs> you all still have a raid to finish. That's right. Plus you and the leg still have a score to settle with Iron Punch. Hehe. <laughs> You're right. Don't worry about me, Commander. Go to the leg. I won't stand in your way, nor will anyone else. I'll see to that. Maiden brushes by me and heads outside into the other hallway. Are we gonna get to see her again? I think we will. Come on, let's see how the story ends. <laughs> let's break the fourth wall a little bit. The Extrinsic Squad. A group of Nikis who were created to suppress or eliminate any Nikis who become irregulars. A squad whose very existence is shrouded in mystery. Due to all these cloak and dagger measures, Maiden has never felt a sense of belonging. Maiden has always yearned for a sense of belonging. To find a place where she could make friends and embrace her true self. That's the reason why she was able to open her heart to Exia, Aleg, and Troni. Maiden shakes her head with distress and pulls out her phone. Boss, it's Maiden. I'm sorry. The mission has failed. Oh, She's also, like, you know, making a sacrifice. Oh, they're such good friends! And it all started with video games. Troni runs through the hallway. This is a, this is a school hallway, by the way. With each step she takes, the corridor turns a brighter shade of red until the entire passage is bathed in crimson and all consuming red light emanates from the Ark's power source. Endless stacks of bodies block Troni's path. Oh, this is a flashback! Fear grips her, but she does not stop. She cannot. If she were to stop now, the greatest horror of all would come to pass. She would be left without a leg. Troni shakes her head vigorously, dispelling the horrific hallucination. Okay, it's a hallucination. The hallway returns to what it is. No, she cannot stop. Not after all that Alec has done for her. Not after she brought Troni out of the morass of fear, which once imprisoned her. It's a cute smile. I didn't think I would like Troni all this much, but this is a part two from Alec's story. So I feel like I sort of have an attachment already. Troni swings open the door and reaches out her hand. A leg, I'm here. Troni? Oh, this is such a good graphic! Ah! Why? Why did you come here? I wanted to give you this. The gamepad is a bit worse for wear. What the? Did I spoil it on the way here? 
Forget about that. That's not what's important. You can't be here right now. It might not be too late. You need to... No. This is what's most important to me. This is such a huge character development from how she was at the end of Aleg's story. When Aleg was trying to get her to come out of her shell, now she's coming to the rescue for Aleg. Aww. Letting you know my true feelings of what matters most. Troni. Aren't you afraid of what will happen to us both? There are people out there who want to keep the truth about the power source hidden. They'll hunt us down and show us no mercy. We could disappear without a trace at any moment. I remember something you once told me. You said that no matter what fear grips me now, I'll be able to overcome it. No matter how much time it takes, be it months, even years, I will absolutely positively be able to overcome them. A leg. It doesn't matter if I'm scared because I know that it will pass. So take my hand, a leg. The voice that used the voice that used to lead a leg out of the room when she was young once again extends her hand and a leg grabs it with a smile. A leg? Yes. I'm glad to have you with me. <laughs> yes, me too. I'm glad we're back together. <laughs> I'm glad she was able to say her piece. Oh, Ether's here. Oh yes, absolutely. Isn't friendship a wonderful thing? Ether? What are you doing here? I'm the supervisor, aren't I? Why shouldn't I be here? Supervisor? What do you mean? Didn't I tell you? Someone high up in MMR ordered that all members of Electric Shock be arrested. And you're the one who received that order. Correct. Even so, you have nothing to worry about. I have no intention of interfering with those two. Why not? They've shown us that they have potential, and for that, they should be rewarded. With that being said, how about we make a deal? You stand to lose nothing. If you play along, I'll make the following report to MMR when I get back. A leg and Troni's memories were successfully wiped, and I will personally see to it that neither of them will uncover the truth behind the Ark's power source ever again. If they ask why one of them wasn't disposed of, I have an ace up my sleeve for that, so worry not. What do you say, number seven? Are you interested? If I agree to this deal, what's the catch? Simple. Offer support to both Oleg and Troni, so that they can continue to uncover further secrets behind the Ark's operation. Be a guardian angel for them both. What's your end game here? What is her end game? Me? I merely want to see what Nikis are capable of. How far Niki will go while knowingly disobeying orders. I want to know more about their potential. She talks as if she's not one herself. Like, she's a... Like, she's almost siding with the humans in this. I'll take your silence as a yes. Very well, I'll go and give the report to the higher-ups. Don't forget your end of the deal. It won't be easy. Another in interloper is also keeping tabs on Eleg and Troni. Not that it's anything to fret excessively over. I'm simply saying you'll have to put in some effort. Oh, and tell the two of them that I have high hopes for them and what they'll accomplish in the future. Huh. I feel like that ended kind of abruptly. I want, cause I want to know more. I want to see them play video games again together. That's probably be that's probably the epilogue, but still, ugh. That got super dark and super tense really quick. I was expecting this to be one of the lighthearted events. And of all characters to get involved, it's a leg and Troni. Troni and Leg already went through a a pretty dark story arc in the previous story. They planted seeds of additional story that needs to be told at the end of a leg's arc or a leg's event. And it's ha and I'm and I'm glad to see that they follow up on it. They actually follow up on story in this game. That it's not just left up as like a mystery that you'll never know about. But like, this is essentially a part two of a leg story. Well, this time you get to see it through Troni's story. It makes me wonder, is there gonna be more to the Ark's power source saga 